Hello my motor enthusiasts. We've got a quiet war brewing in Formula 1. Mercedes and Ferrari are gearing up for the 2024 season, with serious shifts in technical leadership at Mercedes following the departure of Mike Elliott. With James Allison back at the helm, the men in silver are looking to make a clean break from the w 13 zero sidepod aerodynamics, and are focusing on getting the W14 up to snuff. All the while, Ferrari is opting for continuity, holding steadfast with Enrico Galtieri and Enrico Cardile. The question remains, will Mercedes shake up or Ferrari's stability prove more successful on the grid? And let's not forget the potential third wheel in this tussle, McLaren. It's set to be a riveting season, folks. Underneath the calm, the paddock is positively buzzing. There's never a dull moment in the world of Formula One, and we're here to bring it all to you on the F1 Motor Fever podcast. I'm your host Enzo, a diehard F1 enthusiast with a journalistic passion for telling you all about it. And I'm William, your experienced commentator, ready to share insights and dissect all the technical nuances and team tactics of this beloved sport. Together, every day, we're your pit crew, keeping you up to speed with all things F1. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and feel free to leave us a comment. Sharing with your friends and family is the best way to support us and help keep our engines running. And today, quite the story we've got here, eh Enzo? Absolutely, William. There's a storm brewing on the horizon, and it's one you won't want to miss. Technical shakeups, silent revolutions, and heated rivalries, all as we gear up for the 2024 F1 season. This is news that's not just relevant, but crucial for every F1 fan. So buckle up and stay tuned, because we're going full throttle. The battle lines are drawn for the 2024 season. This late in the current season, teams are focusing more on the future rather than new technical innovations. The departure of Mike Elliott from Mercedes, and the return of James Allison to his former role as technical director is the result of a failed project last season. The zero sidepod aerodynamic concept was abandoned with the Monaco Grand Prix, and Mercedes is focusing on the W14 to better understand the problems of the original concept. Quite a silent revolution taking place behind the scenes, wouldn't you say? Oh, indeed. And there's a rumor swirling about that Mercedes is secretly reintroducing the zero sidepod concept for the W15. Now, that would be a twist. Hold your horses there. Remember, we must always rely on reliable sources for such information. And as far as the official Formula One website and Bandeirantes, the official F1 broadcaster in Brazil, are concerned, there is no such indication. We should always strive to avoid spreading unfounded rumors, especially in a sport where details matter so much. I apologize, you're absolutely right. We must always ensure our facts are correct. I'll make sure to double check next time. The battle between Mercedes and Ferrari is heating up as we head into the 2024 season. Ferrari's technical director Enrico Galtieri and Enrico Cardal are holding onto their posts, which may well prove beneficial for the team's stability. Ah, I believe it's important to clarify that Enrico Galtieri is the technical director for the power unit, not the overall technical director. My sincere apologies for the misinformation. You're absolutely correct. Enrico Cardile is the technical director for the chassis and car concept, while Enrico Galtieri oversees the power unit. Indeed, it's a crucial distinction, as their combined expertise in their respective fields will lend stability to Ferrari's 2024 pursuits, creating an intriguing contrast to Mercedes' approach. Absolutely. The future of Formula One is shaping up to be quite suspenseful, with the interplay of established strategies and innovative tactics. It's a chess game at 320 km per hour. We've delved quite deep into the strategies and maneuvers of Mercedes and Ferrari, but let's not forget that the competitive landscape of Formula One is a dynamic one. There are always new players and unexpected twists on the horizon. Very true. Continuity and innovation, strategies and tactics all blend together in this high-speed chess game, and there's always an unexpected move waiting in the wings. It will be interesting to see how this silent revolution unfolds on the track. Indeed, we're in for an exciting season. No matter the outcomes, the dedication and ingenuity of these teams is something to marvel at. As they say, the only constant in Formula One is change. Let's keep our eyes peeled for the surprises that 2024 has in store. William, have you had a chance to look at some of the fan comments on the internet recently? Any interesting chatter out there? Indeed, I have. Just have a listen to this. A fellow named Explosion Knight asks, Quote, what is the fascination with the Martin Brundle grid walk? 
he seems a bit puzzled as to why people enjoy watching celebrities and influencers being interviewed, rather than focusing on the technical side of the sport. Unquote. Interesting thought. Any responses to his musings? Yes, quite a few. A chap called Harrison James cheekily quotes a classic exchange with Kimi Raikkonen, quote, Martin, Kimi, you missed the presentation with Pele. Kimi, why eh, I was having a shit. Martin, you'll have a nice, light car on the grid then, unquote. Ha ha, that's classic Kimi. Any more gems in there? Oh, there's plenty. Kevin B. shares his favorite quote, when Ozzy Osbourne gave an unintelligible answer and Martin retorted with, quote, I'll try to think of a question for that answer, unquote. It seems like the charm of Martin's grid walk lies in his quick wit and his ability to navigate unpredictable scenarios with humor. Precisely. The fans seem to appreciate his unique blend of humor, insight, and the unexpected surprises that come with live interviews. It provides a different flavor to the highly technical aspects of the sport. Well, there you have it. As with everything, it's all about balance, isn't it? You can't have just the technical side of things without a bit of fun and entertainment. That's what makes Formula One such a thrilling spectacle. It's been a pleasure having you all join us here today on F1 Motor Fever Podcast, where we've dug deep into the strategies and rivalries that keep us hooked to Formula One. We invite all you petrol heads to engage with us. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll never miss a moment. Share us, talk about us over a pint or even at your dinner table. If we've revved your engine, leave a comment, we love hearing from you. And remember folks, we're never more than a day away. Our lights go green every day, bringing you closer to the thrilling world of F1. Keep your eyes peeled for some real corkers on the horizon. We're grateful for your company and eagerly anticipate your return for the next episode. You truly make our day and fuel our passion. So until next time, remember. White, pedal to the metal, keep your gaze on the road, our channel's content is pure gold.